Alright guys, I'm TJS, and in this video, we're going to show you how to take the version of the world's hardest game from the first step of the tutorial, and we're going to add some images and sounds, rather than just boring rectangles, and it's going to make the game a whole lot more exciting, and it's pretty simple to do it actually. I'm going to link um, the images, sounds, and this program into a zip file in the description. You guys can just download that, extract it, and you'll have a whole version of this game that you can change, you can modify, you can do whatever you want with it. So don't worry about typing everything off the screen as you see things here. And you should just be able to download that zip file and it should run automatically for you. If you got step one working, you're doing fine with Python and Pygame. Step two, just download that zip file and run it. And uh, we're going to describe here how it works, though. Yep, we're going to show you guys how we got it here. And so, this is how you draw the images. So as you can see, we got hero image one equals pygame.image.load image red.bmp. Now you can change this file to any file you want actually and it'll work. So if you want to draw your own images, that would be great because my images aren't very good. So yeah, there we go. Um, I note that we made this a BMP file. It could read in a PNG or JPEG as well, but BMP makes things easier. There's fewer mistakes with BMPs in Pygame and Python. And if it's a small image, it really doesn't take up much memory anyway. So the safe bet's just to use BMPs. But if you have to, we can put in JPEGs or PNGs in there too. Yeah, so that BMP is the best for these files here. So as you can see, then we go and we take we make hero image. So it's different from hero image one. We say hero image equals pygame.transform.scale. Then we take hero image one, which is the previous one, and we change the size. This is the width, this is the height, and that's the size that we changed the first image to. And now you can make this any size you want to change the size of the character. Now, the set color key is white, and so that makes anything white on the image transparent. So you can have a transparent background so you don't just see a square around your character, which is pretty useful for these kinds of games. And then, you take the convert, and that just makes the image go faster and that's pretty much it for the images. You just have to do the convert. It don't, don't worry yeah, about it. Really, it makes I, things go faster, though. <laughs> I just learned it that way. Uh, and so... That loads have, the image in. Now, yeah. now you just have to put it to the screen. Now we just have to put it to the screen, which, as you can see, we use the same rect thing as we did before. We used to have a rectangle, a rect object, we were talking about in the previous one. We just drew that rectangle with a solid color before. Now we're going to keep the same rectangle, and we're going to put that image we loaded onto the rectangle. Yeah, yeah, and we also have the same um, window surface dot blit here. It's this, we use the same names, but it's pretty much it's pretty similar, but you got like a different way it does it. So there's a reason we started with a rectangle, not a circle, because when you've got a, a rectangular image, Pygame wants you to put it onto a rectangular object, which we had before. Yeah. So instead of drawing that rectangle, you take the image you loaded and the same rectangle and you do the window surface dot blit. Yep. And so that that's... gives you the image instead of the rectangle. Yeah, that's our image. And so now if we go on we're gonna we're gonna go on to sounds now here. So sounds are even easier than images. Yeah, this is this is really simple. We got wind sound equals pygame dot mixer dot sound. We got wind sound dot wav. So you can also make your own sounds for these again, and it's Keep, probably got to be dot web. It does have instead. to be dot web with Pygame. So if you don't know how to do that, um, actually we, we could uh, give you a lesson how to convert. There, there are web links to show how to convert any sound to a web. You can also do it yourself if you get this program you download. But uh, for now, do everything you need to to get it to dot web, or use somebody else's sound like OpenGameArt.org. Yeah, they got some good images and sounds and pretty much everything you want for your video game. That's all it takes to load it. Now show how to play it. So now we got both sounds loaded and here we go. This is what we how we play it here. So when you collide with the enemy you just add in a simple lose sound dot play parenthesis parenthesis. That's it. And that's gonna play it. You do the same for wind sound and there you have it. You got sounds. So this is our game. This is how you can improve things with images and sounds. So, this looks a whole lot better than the version we started with. So, 
That is how you can improve your game. And I'll show you what happens if you lose too. I'm just such a good player that I never lose unless I'm trying to. So, here we go. Ouch! And so that's just me saying ouch. You, you can obviously make your own sounds too a lot better. So guys, that's how we make images and sounds in Python. So just download that zip file in the description and you'll have it and you can try cha changing, modifying the code that we have. Play with it all you like. Add in your own images, your own sounds, move things around, swap the ouch and the wind sound. Do whatever yeah. you want. <laughs> yeah, you can do a lot with this stuff. Alright guys, good luck with all the stuff you're doing here with our program and thanks for watching. We'll be doing more next time.